Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. I'm going to sleep right here. They will work overnight. Work very hard, very industriously. We'll see how much money we've got left, whether they... What kind of hourly rate they take. Uh, 833 loan interest, 207 vehicle leasing, 247 for other stuff. So we haven't done too bad. This one looks like it has now finished doing all of the stone picking. We're 8 o'clock in the morning on the second day of August that we have. So let's go and have a look in here. We'll go back onto the map and double check. Right, there is absolutely no stones there either because uh, the reason that I'm double checking is because sometimes like it looks like the stones are gone but uh there may actually still be some left there uh once you're all finished so let's fold that one up cultivating happening over there that was sorghum in that field we had sorghum in that field and we had oats so we had barley back there didn't we um Maybe I said that we were going to put sorghum in the field that we've just now finished picking the stones on. We went to 2,000 litres of stones. I didn't pay attention to when it filled up, so that could have filled up, like, halfway through. And then we wasted the last few stones. I don't think it really matters. We wouldn't have got, gotten very much more, maybe an extra 100 litres of stone or something like that. It really wouldn't have made a difference. So there's... A pile of stone right there. We've got about 4,000 litres of stone in that little heap. I'm just going to bring that one forward a little bit. And I'm actually going to leave that one right there. I'm not going to do anything else with it. The next job that I want to do is put fertiliser on the field before I do the rolling. I don't know if there's a set way round you should do it, whether we can do the fertilizer before we do the rolling or if we've got to do it the other way round. So, don't know if it'll tell us in here. You've got arable farming right here, okay? Three mandatory steps to process field crops. Cultivating, sowing, harvesting. So that's what you've got to do. Cultivating, regular cultivators are most effective against weeds. Right, use cultivator, shallow cultivator, disc harrow, power harrow to loosen the soil before you start sowing the crops. If the mini needs to be lowered, they mainly differ in terms of working speed, working width, and tractor power requirements. Regular cultivators are most effective against weeds. I didn't know that. I didn't know it made any difference at all to weeds. But dig up large stones. What? Shallow cultivators have a wider working width and cover more ground while having a lower power requirement compared to regular cultivators. The stones dug up are smaller, but they're more expensive and are not as effective against weeds. Disc harrows and power harrows have lower requirements for tractor power. Since when do power harrows have lower requirements for tractor power? I thought they had higher power. Higher power requirement. Anyway, a lower price and higher working speed compared to regular cultivators. Disc harrows won't dig up stones. You can also use direct sowing machines. Some of them can cultivate, sow, and even fertilize at the same time. So there's some new information there that I didn't know about. Regular cultivators are effective against weeds. It's not going to stop the weeds completely, but dig up large stones. Didn't realise that they would dig up large stones. I thought they dug up small stones and at shallow cultivators didn't dig up any. Ploughing. Stones will turn up on the fields if you use a plough. You can also use spaders or subsoilers. They will also prevent weeds from growing and increase the yield for the next harvest. Subsoilers move much faster and have lower tractor power requirements, but they can't create fields and will dig up even bigger stones. Right, so they dig up the biggest stones. So cultivators dig up big stones, but those that's going to be... If we take a look up here a minute. I understand now. Yellow stones are small stones. Orange stones would be big stones. So they would turn up sometimes. And red stones would be the biggest stones. So red stones, I'm assuming, have to be picked up with the stone picker. The yellow and orange stones... I'm making the assumption that both of those can be rolled in, although I don't know. That That is just an assumption that I'm making. You should never make assumptions. 
Makes an ass out of you and me. Assume makes an ass out of you and me. Just, yeah, for the record. Um, and I mean, you know, the, the donkey. Is, ass is another word for donkey. Right. You can sow crops using a seed replanter, yada, yada, yada. Seed pallets, another possibility of bringing seeds directly. Okay, we don't want to know about that. Improving, improving the yield. So here... Stone picking, otherwise it'll damage your machine. So we can leave the stones in the field if we want to. It just increases the amount of wear and tear on the tractor and the other machinery when you pass over the stones, and therefore ultimately it costs you more. One thing that I do like about this new version of the game is that the maintenance on the vehicles is actually a decent amount of money. I believe they have tweaked the numbers slightly for the 1.2 update. It does seem to be a little bit more realistic, uh, but it's still expensive. It is still expensive to maintain your machinery. So if you leave the stones there, it gets much more expensive because it's going to damage the machines as they go bouncing over them. So you've got to get rid of the stones. I like that. I mean, you can turn the stones off if you want to. Uh, rolling ground, small stones left on the field will be pressed back into the ground. So maybe the medium stones, the orange level ones, can't be rolled back in. I don't know. I haven't actually seen any orange on the map. Mulching. Use a mulcher on stubble after before you cultivate the field. This works for any crop that leaves stubble. You will gain a bonus on your yield for the next harvest. When growing grapes or olives, you cultivate first, unlike with the crop stubble, and mulch sometime later as soon as new grass has begun to grow. You basically cut back the grass to prevent weed growth. Also, to make everything look nice and clean. Growing grapes or olives, you cultivate first, unlike with crop stubble. I've been I've been mulching first. Now I'm just confused. Like the, the the problem with grapes and olives is that you need to mulch, cultivate and fertilize. Now this suggests, by the way that's written, that you mulch first and then you cultivate. I know I'm not doing that on here. Uh, but if I look down there, that actually looks like they've only done one strip of cultivating down through the field instead of because I cultivated both sides the last time I did it, and is in a recent um, time lapse episode. So maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe one pass up through, cultivate after with the disco. V uh, once the grass growing high, use the mulcher to keep the space between the rows clear. Cultivate after with the disco bean V and fertilize. So that is telling me one thing, and this is telling me a different thing. Seriously. Th this is why I'm confused. Removing weeds, fertilizing. Right, it doesn't actually tell us with the rolling that we can... Rolling over the grass that's already grown will set it back to the first growth stage. Okay, that makes it pretty matter. Right. All of that, long-winded look and so on was all i was trying to do was find out if i need to um if i need to go along and um roll before i put fertilizer on the field that's what i wanted to find out it doesn't look like it actually makes any difference so we'll pick that one up we got herbicide in that tank at the moment so I'm going to bring that one out. I will probably do herbicide this time round, but it's not something... I think I'll turn the weeds off after this. I've never been particularly keen on dealing with the weeds. Uh, let's back it up. And this action cannot be performed here. Oh, you just do a normal empty out rather than a force empty out. So that is herbicide. The reason I took my front weight off because I was thinking I'd use the one on the back, but I don't. Seriously? It's just gonna pick I'm right up against the other one. I was touching the other one. What is wrong with you? Maybe if I go up over to this side, it'll actually let me pick the fertilizer up instead of the herbicide that's in that other tank. Let's go and pick this one up. That's what Right, 300 litres. I'll go and get the front tank, because I think that one's got fertiliser in it as well. And we may be glad of that. So the cultivator is finished. If I... Actually, let's not worry about the cultivator for a minute, because I can put that going in a bit. I'm going to drive in here. And then we're going to go... 
right in round there. A little bit difficult to get. That's herbicide as well. Right, fine. So we actually want to leave that one behind. I don't want that. Ooh. I know what I could do. Let me just bring that out and bring it over here. I've got enough space in the front tank. This is a 1500 litre tank. I've actually got enough space to put that in there. Then we can take it back and put it back into the sheds. So it's out of the way. And that way we don't have this odd tank of liquid sitting down outside of our shed. So we can just bring that one over there. I lower it down again. I drop that one there. 300 litres might be enough to do this. It might not. I don't really know. We have now finished the planting. There's no other planting that we can do in August. But I need to get the fertiliser and the rolling done. There we go. I thought I had that one picked up the first time. Uh, I need to get the fertilizer and the rolling done before I go and do anything else. And I want to do the fertilizer first because it's easy then to see where we're at with it. So I'll bring you out over here. And while that is just unfolding, let's quickly go to you. And I'll move you. We'll just drive you back in through here. September tomorrow, which means that the soybeans should be ready to harvest. Now, they're not going to take very long at all to harvest. You can't even lower stuff to the ground now without the engine running, which on some new tractors is actually the case. Um, on any older tractors, you can still lower implements to the ground when the tractor is switched off. But uh, I guess it's not a bad change. Let's just leave you there for a minute. And you are now unfolded and ready to go. And there, you can see quite clearly. I can see clearly now where the fertilizer is going. Around like that. And job done. I need to kind of like just edge over towards the side of the field just a little bit. I don't know if I'm actually going to have enough fertilizer. Yeah, I should do. Wondering whether I'd be able to finish the field, but I think I will. I don't think this is going to be a problem. I ran away with the cultivator a little bit too quick. There's a little tiny triangle there, which we've missed before. Come on up this way. And I'm overlapping a bit, but this field's going to have a bit of overlap anyway, so it really matters. again and then over this way and just get this last little bit so what I'm going to do with this is if I swing the tractor around there there we go right job done I got 152 liters left which isn't really enough to finish the field we'll have to go and load this back up again but now that that bit's done I've got oh you know what I completely forgot to look at was whether or not we can do a double width on, uh, like a, a double application on this one. So let's unfold that one again. It's not giving me an option at the moment. But that, the double application one, if we had a look in here, there. Sprayer application rate change so some of them have rate changes where they will do a double rate and then when you then go and have a look in here instead of it being let's get rid of that bit instead of it being one layer you get both your rounds of fertilizer done in one go and i actually really like that it's a, a time-saving thing really isn't it um you've got this where you can raise and lower it manually to uh, fit whatever crops that you've got more uh so let's Press that one. Lower weight, partial width. It doesn't actually seem to change anything. Pressing that um, comma button, it's not actually doing anything with this one. So it, it might not be that all sprayers can do it. I know that you can do it with 
slurry spreaders. I've seen it on those, but I haven't actually seen it on any of the others. Well, I haven't tried very many of them, but I haven't seen it on others yet. So maybe it doesn't work. I'm, I'm not really sure. Let's go and move you out of the way a minute. And then I need to do the rolling. So we'll shut you off. And we'll use this one to do the rolling. But I've also got that little tiny bit of cultivating that's left to do out in that other field. But I'm going to be taking the cultivator back out there because I've done all other cultivating. So once we've rolled, we'll then be able to assign this tractor and the cultivator to the fields that uh, we haven't actually done anything with at all yet. So bouncing off through here like that and unfold. All i got to do is roll. So I'm going to roll going in this direction because it's just going to make life easier. Now, why have we got one tiny little bit there? Did we drive on the crop? Did we not plant? I don't know. So I'll put that one down there. And roll. So the rolled texture is slightly different to the planted texture. I actually quite like it. And you also end up with it removing the rolled, the needs rolling thing on there, which is good. And so this this is also giving us a yield improvement as well. We get a little bit of extra yield coming off of our fields from doing this. Drive on around there. I'm not going to bother using the hide help to do this. I'm just going to do it myself. And then I need to go and put lime. But I thought I was going to have to put lime on the field out here. But it's not this one out here at all that needs the lime, is it? It's field 46 up there. Uh, yeah, it's field 46. That's the one that needs the lime. So we'll have to go and deal with that in a minute. I will bring you out there like that. And then we will... Back round the corner. Off we go again. this way and once we've done this I should put the hide help going this is a bigger field than I first thought so I'll bring you over to there I'm just gonna do that this is the problem like if you were doing this in real life you wouldn't be lifting this up and down like this to turn around or do anything the rollers would just stay down and you would keep rolling until the whole field was done you would never pick them up like this but when you use the hired help to help you out with something, the hired help will keep folding it up to turn round. Now, I know that it does it because most of the other things, that's what it would actually do. This job here, no, you wouldn't. You would not pick it up. You'd leave it on the ground. You, because if you picked it up, you're not rolling the field and, like, squashing in the soil and, and sort of improving the soil structure and the texture and so on. Uh, what you're actually doing is your series... That's a lot of weight on those rollers. That is a huge amount of weight on those rollers. And you're putting all of that weight onto those two wheels, which is really, really, really over-compacting the soil. You've got a major problem then. You go and over-compact the soil like that, there is a major, major problem happening for you. And, yeah. Like, if you keep doing that, your field ends up, like, it builds up this um, kind of, what would it be? It's, it's just below the surface, it builds up this kind of compacted cap that the roots of the plants can't push down through very well. And it you then you've got to do a lot of subsoiling work and so on to improve the structure of the soil again it's it can be quite a problem if, if your field becomes over compacted it can start it can end up being quite a serious problem so you really really don't want to have that happening so you certainly if you were using a hired help and like they, they pick it up like that to turn around the corner uh you don't actually want that not at all not even a little bit so anyway we haven't got anything else to do with the roller so we're just going to fold this one up Put that one away. And there is one more job that we want to do. We want to do the lime spreading over on the field that we have now cultivated. And we picked the stones off of it as well. We didn't cultivate it, that one. We spaded it, didn't we? So we'll just take that one off of there. I'm going to get the cultivator here. 
And this one's just going to be put going. It can work overnight. It doesn't really matter how long it takes to do the work that we're going to be doing with it. There you go. Eventually, we will get another greenhouse out over into this field that we're going to go and start in now. But we're not going to do that yet. Obviously, because we don't have the money. And we don't have a... We, we, we're not able to go and get a loan to get that last little bit of money either. So, it, we really don't have any choice. What I do want to do is just... Let's get that little bit right there. I don't know why it leaves that bit. There must be... Is there a tree that it doesn't like or something? I don't know. Something there that it doesn't like. I think we can get away with working up and down the field this way. It would be better if we can. As far as the rest of it's concerned, let me just go into the construction mode. And we'll come over this way. Because we've got this big... Okay, we've got, we've got a nice big area here that we've sort of worked on. I think that would be all right. What I did... Landscaping... I used that one. Let's make that a bit bigger. I used that one and I basically leveled everything out like this. And it doesn't actually cost all that much money to do that. And then if I bring that up through now, so it just turning this into a completely level area here. Okay, I'm not going on the level that I was using here previously, so I'm going to go in there. We have that. Maybe is the level. Yes, yeah, bringing it up ever so slightly. So let's bring it up higher. It's not a bad thing, actually. And then I can go and tidy it afterwards. And run up through here. This is the bit where it gets a little bit more difficult. That's about the same height there, but then it's going to start changing the height. Open it down a bit more. There. I make that a bit smaller like that. Go into that corner there. See, it's starting to bring it up. Right. That's a fairly straight line down through here just want to straighten that a bit there I mean the greenhouse the, the, the final greenhouse will probably go long ways along here so we'll end up doing a bit more but I just kind of want to square off the end of this a minute like that and then we will take this one the smoothing function and then we can go and just smooth the edges of this so it's not a sharp jump to climb up and down. I've done this before. I'm going to do it again a bit more. So I don't want to do it too much going up that way. I actually wanted to... Um, I'm quite happy having lifted that slightly. You can see it's now just curved down slightly. There's a little bit of a gap underneath there, but I'm quite happy with that. Mostly what I want to do for this last bit is just smooth it off this edge of the field right here so that it blends in better with the ramp that we've gone with, with this level area that we've gone and um, just created just bring that down through there and then kind of smooth this all off like that there we go right a little bit up here that I also want to just do. A bit in there like that, I think. That'll do. Right, let's not spend too much money on it. What I could do is I could run a plow down the edge of that just to straighten out the edge. But I don't want to do that. So next, I want to go over here. Um, we'll just have a look. I've still got a little bit of actual field over there so i want to get rid of that i don't want ha uh, like little tiny strips of field left over that was the whole point of this it's not supposed to happen so what we'll do to get rid of you can see that little strip down through there what i'll do to get rid of that is if i just go to painting right there and i take the dirt that we've got here i actually find that this works better you press v to change the shape 
as a really small circle. But I do find that the circle, at least on the small mode, is more accurate and works better than using the square. So if you are doing painting, just be slow and careful with it. And you will find that you can actually make some neat and tidy edges. So like here, for example, I could get rid of these last few little bits, but just go slow. That's all you've got to do is just work slowly up that strip up through there. And then I've got a beautiful straight edge. I know in real life you wouldn't do, go and do this, but with the game, because of the way that it leaves the edges, it does actually irritate me having the edges like that. There's a little bit there that I just want a tiny bit more out. That's better. And one little bit up through here. All the way up like that. Just go slowly and carefully. If you think that you might end up making a mistake, I think... That, that is one little bit out there. I don't care about that. If you think they might end up making lots of mistakes, save frequently. That's that's my advice. If you're doing any sculpting or anything like that, save. All right, save before you start and save frequently throughout. And if you make a mistake, reload your save. All right, this, that's the, the easiest and fastest way to do it is just save frequently. And then if you make mistakes, reload your save and off you go again. Saves at the... It is fairly easy to correct mistakes you make with it. Um, it's not like a major thing to correct mistakes. Although if you're doing it on a budget and you're doing it in a, like a single player playthrough. And you're doing this construction work on a budget. Then spending the money making the mistake and then spending more money to correct it. That might not be what you want to do. So just save frequently and that should eliminate any issues that you might have. Just a little bit of advice for you there. Okay, so next up, I want to do the um, a little bit of lime on the field behind us. So I'm going to actually just park this one right here. Is this not the front way? This is actually going to be the last job of the summer, just spreading this lime. There's nothing else that I can do in that field. There's nothing else I can do in any of the fields. I want to get the lime done so that it's kind of out of the way and then we'll be able to start doing the planting after that so the field of soybeans is gonna be ready to harvest in a minute this won't take very long at all by the way we'll, we'll soon have this uh, spread across our field um the field of soybeans will be harvesting that soon and we've also got a lot of planting to do there'll be some well lots there's some planting that we'll be doing in september which is the other so we've got some wheat to go and plant now i'm thinking wheat on this field i think that's what i did say originally was put wheat on this field right here so that's what we will do we'll aim for wheat on this field here how far does this spread by the way I don't know. okay i can be over a little bit further but i think it's going to be three passes anyway um wheat on this little field right here and maybe not wheat on this field maybe we should unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord it's a link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.